So over the weekend, Bernie Sanders spoke at KDEMS, and I think it's safe to say that he absolutely stole the show. He gave a speech that was phenomenal. He basically said exactly what somebody who's running for president needs to say, because in an environment where Republicans are off the spectrum crazy, bipartisanship isn't going to be what saves the country. It's not going to be what saves the planet. It's not going to be what saves the middle class. There's no middle ground when we're talking about these really serious issues. There's no middle ground when it comes to war and healthcare. There's no meeting Republicans halfway. Because if you meet a party who's crazy halfway, then you're conceding that being 50% crazy is acceptable when it's not. So what Bernie Sanders said in this speech, it's relatively long. The clip is about three minutes or so. He says, no middle ground, period. And this was phenomenal. Take a look. We have got to make it clear that when the future of the planet is at stake, there is no middle ground. We will take on the fossil fuel industry and transform our energy system. We have got to make it clear that when this country drifts toward oligarchy, there is no middle ground. Large, profitable corporations like Amazon will pay their fair share of taxes. When it comes to health care, there is no middle ground. Health care is a human right, not a privilege. And we will guarantee health care to all of our people through a Medicare for all single payer system. When it comes to abortion, there is no middle ground. A woman has the right to control her own life, not the government. When it comes to prescription drugs, no middle ground. We're going to take on the pharmaceutical industry, cut prescription drug prices in half. And when it comes to mass shootings and the fact that 40,000 people were killed last year with guns, no middle ground, we will take on the NRA. And when it comes to criminal justice reform and immigration reform, no middle ground, we will take on the prison industrial complex. We will take on racism at the border. And when it comes to foreign policy, no middle ground, we will finally put an end to a bloated middle military budget and end endless wars. Brothers and sisters, Trump wants to divide us up, we will stand together. Black and white and Latino, Native American, Asian American. We will stand together and create the nation that we know we will become. Brothers and sisters, at this momentous moment in American history, we have got to be thinking not just about ourselves, but future generations. Let us go forward together. Thank you. That may now be my favorite speech from him. Because you see all of these other candidates, they're boasting about how we really need bipartisanship and civility and middle ground. You have morons like Howard Schultz saying, you know, my administration will be 50% Democrats, 50% Republicans. I think Eric Swalwell 
even proposed the same thing, if I'm not mistaken. But we can't compromise or negotiate with Republicans. We have to defeat them. That's our only option. We don't have a choice. They don't believe that climate change is even real. So how do you meet them halfway? They're trying to take health care away. So how do you meet them halfway? They don't believe that women should have control and autonomy over their own bodies. They don't believe that gay people are equal. How do you meet them halfway? How do you propose that we come up with some sort of compromise between insanity and justice and being reasonable? How do you do that? The answer is you can't. You can't compromise when you're right. To do that means you are weak. And that's a problem with Democrats. They've always been so willing to compromise that they do it before negotiations even begin. Like we all know, going back to the Obamacare debate, Obama was in favor of a public option, but he didn't even bring it up. He compromised before negotia negotiations began. So Democrats have always been so weak where they want to make sure that they communicate to you that they're the grown-ups. And part of being a grown-up is to compromise, try to bring people together. But we can't do that. What Bernie Sanders is saying is, no, we're being the grown-ups and saying, we're not going to compromise with these looney tunes. You can't get anything beneficial out of a compromise if you are engaging in negotiations with bad faith actors. You can only defeat them. That's your best chance at being successful. Period. And this was demonstrated to us once again because, if you'll recall, um, Mitch McConnell stole the Supreme Court seat from Barack Obama. Now, I was no fan of Merrick Garland because Obama once again compromised before negotiations even began. He put up a conservative Supreme Court justice in hopes of getting them to maybe just give him a hearing, maybe consider it, but they didn't do that. And what happened? Trump filled that seat, and Mitch McConnell was just asked, what would you do if a Supreme Court vacancy popped up in 2020? Guess what he said? We're going to fill that seat. Oh, uh, we'd fill it. <laughs> now, after seeing him smirk, knowing that what he said in 2016 was a load of shit, and he played Democrats like a fiddle, how can you possibly, ask yourself how you can possibly engage in good faith negotiations with them? You can't. You can't compromise with them. You have to defeat them. And it seems like Bernie Sanders is one of the few candidates who actually get this. Because time after time, Democrats will extend their hand out to Republicans and it'll get slapped down. They don't want to negotiate with you. They just want to beat you. Obama literally took Romney here, a Heritage Foundation healthcare right wing reform, and they gave him zero votes for that. There's no compromise. To compromise with Republicans means that you lose. So the overall message is that when you see these Democrats like John Delaney, Amy Klobuchar, anyone who is proposing bipartisanship, what they're telling you in actuality, what, what they're effectively saying is, I'm willing to lose just so I appear reasonable. Now, maybe the optics are great for that. Maybe you get a nice fluff piece written about you in mainstream media. But at the end of the day, you lose. We all lose because you keep trying to compromise with these ghouls. You have to defeat them. That's the crux of the argument that Bernie Sanders is making. Or I shouldn't say that that's the crux. That's the implication. The crux, in actuality, is you can't compromise because these are non-negotiable matters, okay? You can't compromise on healthcare when people are dying in this country and going bankrupt. The only option is Medicare for all. No compromise there. Not willing to negotiate. You can't compromise when it comes to war. Not willing to negotiate. We're not going to compromise when it comes to women's rights. They're going to have autonomy over their bodies, whether you like it or not. We're not going to compromise on LGBTQ rights. Gays aren't going to be discriminated against so religious bigots feel better about themselves. We're not going to let CEOs continue 
to make record profits and increase their salaries while their workers are suffering. No compromise there. So what Bernie Sanders is doing is he is approaching this from a position of strength. And you have to be unapologetic. People in mainstream media will see this and they'll say, well, Bernie, he's, he's so unreasonable. We need someone who's going to work with the other side. When you're the one who's being unreasonable, because we've seen time and again that they don't want to work with you. They don't like you. They hate you. So you have to be uncompromising and defeat them. Bernie gets it. And that's why he's our only hope. Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.